Did you skip breakfast this morning? Governor Brad Little didn't. In fact, he rarely does. He came in and he made us breakfast this morning at the KTVB studios, his famous oatmeal. We chatted with Governor Little about the Gem State's historic growth while he chopped apples and rinsed quinoa, quinoa excuse me, in preparation for the most important meal of the day. And at this point in time, I will prepare the apples. And I prefer the green and red apples to add color to this incredible delicacy. Oh, wow. What do you call this, first of all? Oatmeal. Just straight up oatmeal. <laughs> Brad's oatmeal. Brad's, Brad's oatmeal. My friend, my doctor, and I get together, we compare oatmeal recipes. It's not that elaborate. And then you add the oats, and then we're off for 10 minutes. So oh. business-wise, were we gonna talk a little business? Sure. Okay. Teacher pay was a big deal for you last year. Starting teacher pay. Starting teacher pay. So what, what are your, what's your approach this year? This, this year we're finishing starting teacher pay, and then we're going out and looking at the veteran teachers. Because if you're at, at Payette, Fruitland, uh, Weezer, they can just drive across the border and make more money. And we, we have got to correct that because we, we can't afford to lose our best educators. Well, you're not going to be working at a restaurant with this, these skills with the knife. I'm just going to say that. They're, they're a little, they're a little Sonny, clunky. 10 minutes? 9.35. Oh, oh that's, that's good enough. Good so. enough. In an ideal world, what does teacher pay look like in Idaho? It, a, it's got to be competitive with the surrounding states. But I want to send a signal to students, high school students, uh, that it's a normal profession to get into education. So they go to our education colleges at, at Pocatello, Moscow, and Boise, and, and the community colleges and LCSC, um, because we need our best and brightest to stay here and teach in Idaho. Oh, yes. Is that, is that looking about right? Governor's excited about his oatmeal. It is unbelievable. Now, um, when you when you take it off the stove, the apples will all be on the top. Right. So it you really takes an expert chef to push the apples down into the oatmeal. Do you remember the first meal you cooked for your wife? <laughs> Other than oatmeal, Other no. Than <laughs> <laughs> Most people that know me and my family would find it highly ironic that I'm doing the cooking show and Teresa is home watching. So in here you have flaxseed, quinoa, quinoa steel cut oats, and apples. And apples. And oh. Oh yeah, we gotta have some a salt. A little bit there. of salt. You know okay, you there you go. We gotta tell you what you th we think right to you. This is exciting. Mm-hmm. I got hit with the lemon right there. All right. That's good. What I notice is it's very hot and cold at the same time. It, it is, you got. What an experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an experience. There okay. you go, there you go. There's, that is delicious. Governor, thank you so much. Brad, Brad's oatmeal. Brad's oatmeal, breakfast with Brad. It's breakfast with Brad. Do, 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 do. And I have to say, he put so much fruit and other extracurricular things in there. I don't even know if it was oatmeal after a while because he put a lot of fruit and yogurt and uh, everything, by the way, that you saw there on the table from the state of Idaho. He's very proud of that. But you can see the entire interview and that whole cooking session. That's coming up a little bit later on KTV.com. We're also gonna have it on the 208 Facebook group page. We'll also post his famous oatmeal recipe that includes quinoa and flaxseed and even some oatmeal, believe it or not. Let us know if you try it out.